Greetings, friends, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program! Last time I asked what you wanted me to do next, and the only person to comment said, How about sending a guy to Duna? So I'm gonna do that today. For those who don't remember, Duna is the Mars-like planet, and I recently crashed this probe down on the surface. And it's got this nifty moon, too, called Ike. So I devised a, a mission to send someone to Ike and someone to Duna and put satellites in orbit, and it's way too complicated, but it's going to give me a lot of funds. In my contracts here, I have a contract to plant a flag on Duna, get science data from the surface of Duna, return to Kerbin from the orbit of Duna, and explore Ike. I was doing some basic grindy missions, like over and over again you'll get contracts to rescue someone from uh, orbit, and I've been doing that, and building up my science, so I now have nearly a million funds and over 300 science to unlock a couple more uh, parts for us. So I'm going to blow all of my science on this one thing. The NERVE atomic rocket motor. Uh, and why? Why would I do this? Well, take a look at the efficiency. The efficiency is 800 in a vacuum. ISP is the efficiency. ISP, the higher the better. And the most efficient engine I have at the moment, I think, is this one. 350 in a vacuum. So this is more than double. Unlock efficiency. The most important thing in interplanetary travel, I think. I'm not a rocket scientist, so don't quote me on that. Behold! Here is kind of the ship that I plan to do it with. Oh wait, hang on. I need to stick our fancy new engines on the bottom there. Behold! The way I'm gonna get the mothership into orbit. The big center section here, and a whole bunch of rockets all strapped on. Uh, I can't. I also added these little satellites, which I'm gonna leave in orbit, you know, just for funsies. How about we give this a shot? Let's see what crew we have. Uh-oh, I got a scientist and some engineers. I don't have a pilot. I'm gonna need a pilot if I want this thing to, like, fly well. This guy's really brave, but he's also kind of an idiot. I want I want the least idiot. This is this is space exploration. We need smart people. Pilot! Yay! Okay, I'm fairly certain this won't blow up. Okay, wait for it. And three, two, one, go! It works! It flies! We are taking off! Flying higher! Into the sky! AI Kermit? She does not look so happy. I wonder if it's because she knows if this launch goes wrong, there's absolutely no chance of her surviving. There's no parachutes on this thing. And solid boosters away! Climbing higher and higher! I probably need to dock this, right? With a space station? Pick up some people? Pick up the experienced top men? Goodbye, other rockets! Let's easily pull away. And we're away! Go! Eat gravity! You can do it! Hey, I... That's a really weird name. All these Kerbals have strange names. Goodbye, other engines! Uh, I'm not entirely confident here, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate those engines, too. This is a very expensive ship. I don't want to die, you know? We're speeding up. That's good. Uh, we're we're falling falling back to our deaths. That's that's not so good. Must go faster. Must go faster. Uh oh, overheating. I'm gonna shut you down. You're still getting mighty hot. I'll just turn off the gauges. Problem solved, right? Falling back down. We're near orbital velocity. That's good. There there's hope, right? More fuel to the big engines. More fuel. Okay, and go 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 go. We're falling mighty quickly now. Almost in orbit. You can do it! And periapsis... Higher... Higher... That's pretty high, actually. I think I'll be fine with that. And we're tumbling through the atmosphere! Man, those are hot. They're glowing bright red. That's... that's not good. Alright, we are at apoapsis. I took all the fuel back out of these guys, so... Goodbye! You're no longer needed! It's a delicate space dance. Look at them go! Alright, let's check our rendezvous. Bing! Oh, just about perfect. No, 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 no. Wrong button. Ah! I do that too much. I bet I can make that even closer. How close is it? Seven kilometers. Not close enough. Point eight kilometers. Perfect! I see you there. Coming in to get you. Okay, okay. Almost at the intersection. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Alright, we can rendezvous with that. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy breezy beautiful. Relative velocity stopped. Ooh, there's a cool shot. All about the cool shots. Alright, alright. 
And those of you who don't know, you can use the I, J, K, L, H, N keys on the right side to mess with thrusters while you're flying as well, assuming the thrusters are active. Now I put a bunch of these linear thrusters all over it, and they have a little more power, but they only shoot in one direction, so I had to put a whole bunch of them everywhere. Uh, and it can be tricky sometimes to, uh, to get them balanced, but it can be nice once you figure out how to use them in conjunction with this thingy down here. Okay, how quickly do I slow down? Not quickly at all. That's not great. Don't want to come in too hot or I'm going to ram into this thing. It's dark. I need lights. Bing. I put lights on it. Oh no. Oh no. Got to talking. Got to talking too much. Why did I only put four thrusters to slow me down? Well, the good news is I'm not going to hit it. I'm going to go ahead and switch. This is a docking port on the nose, so it's going to be a lot easier to control this one. Which docking port do I want? That one, right there. Set as target. Using both hands on the keyboard. Oh no, this is so hard to do, it's like playing a piano. Yep, not succeeding here. This is something, I'm not sure I can explain how this works. It's kind of just something that you gotta, something they need to do some practice on. I've, I've crashed into my share of space stations, believe me. It's been, it's actually been quite a while since I've had to do a maneuver like this, so I'm a bit out of practice. These, these things have like magnets on them though, so they'll, they'll kind of draw themselves in. Bingo! Got it! And we finished the contract, build a new orbital station, because now it has fuel. We didn't nearly die there, who said that? Wasn't me. Behold the launcher! You may be asking, hey, where's the other lander? Well, I can't launch both landers uh, up at the same time and not go over this part limit, so I gotta do one at a time. Luckily, I can put anyone in the command pod I want because of this little probodyne core, it has SAS. Who am I gonna send up? Cenarius? That's a weird name. Hard Doc? That's a less weird name, and it sounds very suggestive. Or Cloaky. I'm gonna go with Cenarius. We need a scientist. Cenarius. Ooh, a night launch. Always check your staging, kids. Check your staging. You ready? You ready, Cenarius? We gotta rename you, that's really tricky. Okay, three, two, one, go! It flies! Yay! Ooh, look at that pretty sky! The Milky Way, or whatever the Kerbal's equivalent is. Alright, coming in for a rendezvous. Where, where is this? Where is the ship? There it is! We're closing in! It's so close! Alright, you know what? This is, this is getting too annoying. Goodbye! These are so much easier to maneuver. Woo! This is gonna make me dizzy! Alright, closing in! Target set! Oh no, don't crash into it! Don't crash into it! G -g 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 -g. I wasn't worried. Okay, almost. Wait, hang on a sec. I actually don't want this. So I'm gonna eject. Eject that garbage. I don't need SAS. I'm a pro! Except for all those times just now when I really, really needed SAS. So this, this'll be fun. Yay, and we're docked! Huzzah! Tell you what, I'm not gonna show you doing that again. Cause this takes forever and it's, it's using up all my hard drive space, so I'll rejoin you when I get the other one docked or crashed. Who knows? Welcome back! I, I have docked the other lander! And you can see, I actually kept this whole other bit on there too. I added a couple of uh, RCS tanks and some thrusters to the back. That helped me uh, help me with the rendezvous a little bit more. Had a little more fuel. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to use the extra RCS fuel. I'm going to top up all the other little tanks that you find all over the landers. And I'm also going to take some extra fuel out of here. Alright, this whole thing is empty now. We have no use for you. Goodbye! Now we got to refuel up. This giant mothership looks like it may not have quite enough to fill up the tanks all the way. In those cases, make sure you get enough fuel, or you get a, an equal amount of fuel on each side. You want it to be nice and balanced, so that when you're thrusting, it doesn't want to turn in a direction. You need to get the Kerbals or organized. She's going on a spacewalk. The first spacewalk on our new giant mega craft. Get Jebediah out here. Let go! Float! I can probably just transfer them through, but isn't this so much more fun? I think it's more fun. That's a cool shot. Goodbye! The mega ship has successfully undocked! Let's leave! Up and get away! 
Okay, so planning time. Let's see where Mars is. Totally the wrong place. That's where Mars is. Of course it is. Wow, estimated burn, 11 minutes. It's going to take multiple passes, probably. Want to see something cool while he gets us straightened out here? Jebediah is in this front thingy. He's got a nice view. He's got a beautiful view. All right, let's slowly throttle those engines up. Uh, throttle up, throttle up. Ooh, hi, everybody. Oh, this poor person's stuck here. Raise that throttle. We don't want these landers breaking off. They're they're pretty they're pretty sturdy on there. They're they're a bit wibble wobbly, but they're not going to break off if I if I gently ease up. Especially with just these four engines, these don't have a lot of power. But just remember, in space, speed is not key. It's not. Efficiency is key. Okay, we got a problem, and I think I know what the issue is. No, it's not that these are burning hot. We're only about there. We've been, I've been going around, and I just kind of burn whenever I'm near periapsis to try to get this farther out. And as it's going out, we're running down on fuel. Now, we haven't, we haven't even used up most of our fuel at all, but we're not all that far out. And I think the problem is, these nuclear engines, they're very efficient, but they only burn liquid fuel, which means they, they have a little less than half of the fuel in these tanks is actually usable for these engines. And the rest of it, the oxidizer, not only is it not usable, but it's dead weight. So what I'm going to do, go back to the space center and figure out a way to resolve this. Now we got to do this from time to time. I can't just revert the mission because I turned those off. And three, two, one, launch! Eject! Goodbye! I hope this works. Fingers crossed. This is all of my money going up. We're coming in! Uh oh Coming in the wrong angle. Ah, that's the problem. You're not, like, floating in space going towards the other guy. You're both orbiting, and what you're doing when you're docking isn't trying to get close to him. It's trying to get your orbits so they become close to each other. Uh, it's kind of kind of confusing, because you're, you're not taking a straight path. Both of you are curving, and you have to be curving in the same direction at the same speed and all of that in order to dock a little bit better. And always on the dark side of the planet. Jeez, I hate this. I hate docking at night. Slow down. Coming in too hot. Coming in too hot. Gentle adjustments. Gentle. I'm kind of straight. Not, not really. Yay, we're docked. We are docked, and these engines are still hot. Jeez, what gives? Like they never cool down. Alrighty, let's start dumping in some fuel, shall we? Dumping out some oxidizer, too. In with the liquid fuel, out with the oxidizer. There. Now I think all the tanks, all the liquid tanks anyway, are full. Good news, everyone. Now I just have to equal out the oxidizer in these tanks. Gotta make sure it's it's balanced. Good and symmetrical weight distribution. Or, you know, it's balanced enough. Close enough for government work, someone I know used to say. Let's make sure these are balanced. Now I gotta dock this with the other side. Not a problem, I say. I could really use that sun. It's so hard to see. And it's been a while since I've done a career mode playthrough, so it's... I'm starting to forget all the tedium of trying to cobble together rockets out of parts that I haven't unlocked yet. I'm not even pointing in the right direction. Come on. Come on, Ruffles. You can do it. Sun is a-coming. Sun! Ooh! I see the sun! Yay! Success! We did it! Will it work? Probably not. The last plan didn't work. We have no more use for this guy. This guy can go away. Decouple. So, there we have it. I'm going to end it there, because this has gone on forever. But we have officially assembled, we have orbited, assembled, and adjusted and fixed, hopefully, our craft. We've almost left orbit. Uh, next stop is Duna. Oh, one last thing. i got to name this ship, right? i got to name it. Um, I think I'm going to start doing, like, uh, names that are references to various, various things. Uh, you know, little, little Easter eggs or shout-outs to people. You know, I feel obliged to name this very, very first one, 
probably after the Grumpy Owls. They're the very first people that uh, picked me up after I after I started YouTube. They're the first ones. KSS is the Kerbal Spaceship. Uh, the Owl or Grumpy Owl? Which one sounds better? Grumpy Owl, because I'm very grumpy right now after all the stupid stuff that I had to do to make this ship work. All because of incompetent engineering. Okay. All right, so there we are. So, on to questions. One of the questions that someone asked, uh, do you use mods? And if so, can you show some useful ones? So yes, I have a couple of mods installed. Uh, they don't really change the game all that much. They just kind of give me more information and help me out. There are mods that change the game. There are mods for everything, but I'm, I'm not using them because I want this to stay, stay like a stock playthrough. And one of the mods I'm using right here is Glitching Out. This is Kerbal Engineer, and it opens up this nice little it's a nice little window and it gives you a lot of nice information like thrust to weight ratio, delta V, how long you can burn at maximum throttle, all that sort of thing. So you see this ship here uh, with all these tanks has 3200 meters a second of delta V. It's kind of, de kind of depressing. But remember there's a lot of extra fuel. So it weighs 152,000 kilograms. If I remove all of the oxidizer from all of the tanks The weight has dropped to 92,000 kilograms, and my delta V has gone up to 6,300 meters a second. So I, I just I just lost a bunch of useless weight, and that that increases the amount of delta V or the amount of accelerating I can do. So I still burn the same amount of time, still have the same amount of power, but I'm moving less weight. Lighter allows you to accelerate more. So that that's kind of a useful a useful thing. If I open up something a little more complicated, it separates out by stages here. So the very first thing launch all of these SRBs and the, the rockets, and it, it assumes that I'm doing maximum throttle. Uh, and if that were the case, almost a 2 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, that's good. And then as the SRBs burn out, it will rise to 3 point, or three and a half uh, thrust to weight. And, and basically that's because as you're burning, it's using up fuel, and as you use up fuel, the weight drops. So the same amount of thrust makes you accelerate faster. Uh, but I'll, I'll and I'll be expending 1,377 meters a second of delta V by the time the solid rocket boosters burn out. Uh, but that's, that doesn't mean we'll be going 1,377 meters a second because the gravity of the planet's still pulling us down and the wind is, is pulling us back. Uh, but then we'll, we'll eject those in, in stage two, at which point the remaining fuel in these four engines will give me an extra 2,800 meters a second of delta V. And, Know, these thrust to weight ratios and then when those burn out I eject those and ignite this one and that has another 2,000 meters a second of delta V so it, it kind of it knows what you're doing over here and it calculates all that and it shows you in a nice graph and you can even you can even pick uh, pick different planets like what if this was Gilly well look all the thrust to weight ratios went way up because Gilly's tiny there's really no gravity there uh, my other mod is Kerbal Alarm Clock Kerbal Alarm Clock is kind of a nifty thing uh, you can basically set uh, alarms and it'll tell you, hey, hey, go do this. So it helps when you're doing multiple missions at once. You can kind of set it to, to give you an alarm. Okay, here we are, satellite. Let's say I want to do a maneuver when this has reached apoapsis. So I click, add maneuver, uh, and I want to do this. Why not? I'll just, I'll just deorbit it, crash into the planet. It's going to take two days gonna take two days to get there. What if I want to do some other missions in the meantime? I can click the alarm clock, add alarm clock, at maneuver, and this this alarm is set to this maneuver node because this maneuver node is selected at the moment. Add alarm, and then I can go do something else. I can switch to this this uh, satellite if I want. What was that? And just time warp ahead. And look, I'm, I'm slowing down my time warp for no reason. I'm not doing that. And look at this! Deorbit spacecraft maneuver node, so I can jump to ship and restore maneuver node. Click. And here I am. Here I am. Close alarm, and I can do, I'm at, I'm at the periapsis, I can do the maneuver, and, uh, and I could have been doing other stuff in the meantime. This is particularly useful when you start doing long-range missions, like to, to other faraway planets. Because, because Elu is really far out here. It takes like 15 minutes of time warp sometimes to get there. Uh, and you can you can just do other you can send a satellite there, and and do other stuff in the meantime. And it's it's kind of more fun than sitting there and letting it run on time warp for a very very long time. Uh, the last mod that I want to show you is this one. Uh, it's not really active right now, and what it does here, I'll open it is a science alert. 
uh, you can set things to either end your time warp or give you an alert and it will glow and pop up when new science is available. So if you forget, let's say you forget to do a crew report over a certain biome, right? As you're flying over that biome, every time you fly over, this will pop up and make, make uh, flashing lights and stuff and tell you, hey idiot, stop, do the crew report. And uh, that, that just kind of helps you not miss science that, that's available to you. So those are the three mods that I have installed here. Uh, those are the three that I use pretty much all the time. They don't, again, they don't do anything that uh, changes the game, really. It just kind of reminds you and helps you keep track of things. And then it helps you engineer. But the same spacecraft that I make, if you built those in a game without engineer, they would fly exactly the same way. So it doesn't, doesn't change the game all that much. It just kind of helps you do what you want to do. Um, if you're interested in any other mods, let me know. I'll, I'll maybe do a little spotlight video on them, but there's so many of them, and uh, I'm, I'm probably going to stay away from them for now. Maybe I'll do another playthrough later with a bunch of mods, but I'm, for, for the time being, I'm just going to stick with these couple of information ones. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to our epic quest to Duna. I know I am. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time, and next time we'll fly there and land. Maybe do some other stuff. We won't have to keep fixing the chip. I suppose we'll either uh, we'll either succeed or crash and burn and die. One of the two. So look forward to that. See you next time. Bye bye. Okay, I'm fairly certain this won't blow up.